It takes just three steps for older Americans to get ready for an emergency. Get an emergency supply kit, make a family emergency plan, and be informed about different types of emergencies. To get started, go to ready.gov to get a list of everything your emergency kit should contain. What else? We the first aid a, kit, yeah, we have that. We have a brand new first aid kit. Okay. And I think it has all of these items in it. There are some basic items every person needs, regardless of age. The first thing they said that we should have in our basic emergency supply kit is water. And since there are three of us, we'll need at least three gallons per person. But older Americans also need to include the special supplies they rely on for their health and safety. Older Americans think about things that they will absolutely need for three days. Um, medications, pres special prescriptions, and eyeglasses. It's always good to have an extra set of eyeglasses for this kit. And not only the prescriptions, but a copy of the prescription in case you have to refill it later. Uh, batteries for hearing aids um, or any other special need like that is, is very critical. You know what, we, I didn't put my insulin in. Okay. okay. And that's one of the things we really had to remember. The other thing is that we're going to put this blanket in here and we can get some more later. Once you've got everything together, put all the items in a container that you can take with you if you need to leave home in an emergency. Okay. I have the new prescription. We need to put it in with the documents there. Remember, medicines can spoil just like our food, so you should check your kits regularly to make sure your prescriptions haven't expired. I really didn't look at the expiration date on it. Mm -hmm. So, and this is really important. Probably need to make a note on your list of when a prescription, it's that, uh, this particular refill expires. That we're going to keep a copy of in our kit, and then we're going to share this information with people we think need to know this. All right. Okay, so our out-of-town contact name. It's going to be Maurice, I guess, Maurice, right? Maurice, right. You have his phone number? Put his number down there. If there's an emergency, you may be able to stay in your home or you may have to evacuate. It's important to have a plan ready for either situation. In addition to a basic emergency plan, you may also have some unique needs to plan for. I am so independent. I think that's the important thing. And also I'll put down my um, medic alert. Uh, information on here. Well, you need to call them and update your meds. Right. With them. I'm calling to update my medical information. I think the last time I did that was three months ago, and I've had a change in some of my medication. So, you know, one of the things that we didn't talk about was if I couldn't administer my insulin, mm -hmm. who would do it? Mm -hmm. And would they know how to do it? So. Create a personal support network if you'll need special assistance during an emergency. Talk to your family, friends, neighbors, and coworkers about your emergency plan so they know what they can do to help you. This is the syringe, and these are the units on here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I take 10 units. Let the people in your personal support network know what medicines you rely on. Also, let them know if you have any physical limitations. And then you have swabbed my abdomen, and then you just stick it in and pull it out very quickly. Jump to a state, see what they say. So that has community and state information. Ready.gov and links to local information will help you learn about the types of emergencies that could affect your area.
The information will help you know what to do in case of any emergency, natural or man-made. Be prepared to adapt the information to your personal circumstances. You'll find everything you need to prepare yourself and your family for an emergency at ready.gov. It's as simple as one, two, three.